All right, today I'm doing a review of the brand new Thrive Theme Builder. So check this out. I've got this site called entrepreneurinsider.us. It's somewhat of a test, um, test page that I use for different things. And you can see in here, you install the uh, product manager plugin from Thrive, and then it allows you to install either all of these plugins or the brand new Thrive theme builder theme called Shapeshift. Now I've already installed it, so I'll show you how to use it. I was just on the uh, dashboard. <laughs> Let me see where that thing went. Uh, right here, okay, cool. Now, real quickly, before I dive into this, the, uh, the the real benefit of this versus some other theme is that you can really have control over setting all the various theme elements for your site and a lot more control over than, you know, just traditional out of the box themes. And I'm going to take you through the shape shift theme uh, builder real quick, and you can see how it works. This is the first time I'm really using it on here. I've actually already uploaded the logo. I choose and continue. Then you want to choose what your headers look like. You can see, I think I'd actually already done that. All right, so what it'll do is it'll say, all right, this is what it looks like. Do you want to change that? So I can click down here and I can change this to um, anything I want. So it'll look like that. Um, or if I want to go back up to where it was, I'm just going to leave it the basic one. So that's selected. All right, cool. And then I am going to go down here to the footer. And we're going to choose what the footer should look like, All right? How big do you want it? How small? In my case, I am just going to use the most basic one here. And you'll see how that looks right there. All right. And now let me yeah, choose and continue. Okay, now how do you want to display your home page? Do you want a, one of your existing pages or your blog? Or let's choose this. Okay, so they've already done something like this. Now all of this is editable in a visual uh, theme in the in the visual editor, which allows you to um, just kind of click on this. And it's really my favorite page builder out of absolutely everything. And I've and I, I've used them all from ClickFunnels to Kartra to Unbounce, you name it. I really like Thrive's Visual Architect. But as you can see, I can choose any of these. And then I can, you know, once more edit. Service business, content focused. So in this one, I might choose content focused and see how this puppy looks. And it might be like this. And now I don't know if this is actually pulling in content. I have a... I have an ag a news aggregation plugin on here, and this might be pulling in actual content from that. So that's kind of cool. Um, and you can see, you know, kind of how this how this thing works. Now I am going to actually not choose one because the reason I'm not choosing one is I actually have one uh, already set up. So I'm just gonna skip that. Now this is what a single blog post would look like. So in this case, you can see it looks like this. Now I can change that very simply and easily to any of these styles. And I don't know what I choose to use, but uh, let's just do this one. All right, good enough for government work. All right, now I'm gonna click here. Now this is what the blog post list should look like. And I can do, I'm just gonna choose the most basic. Let's see how that is. Yep, all right, cool. And now I'm going to, um, and you know, I wonder, like, so for instance, if I don't want my little picture on here, I, I don't know the answer to this. I'm sure there is a way to get rid of it, probably in other theme settings. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose, click and continue. Now, this is what, in essence, a basic page will look like. Blank pages. So let's say I choose this. How would that look? Uh, and once more, I'll be able to change all the colors on this page as well. Um, I am going to make it look like, um, that, OK? 
Okay, choose and continue. Now we're down to the menu. If I already have a menu chosen, I'm gonna choose that. All right, cool. What do you want to display on your homepage? Um, display one of your existing pages. So I've got a coming soon page like this already on here. I am gonna keep it just like this at the moment. And we're gonna see how this works. Okay, now I can preview it or I can learn what to do next. In this case, I'm gonna come over here to branding. Okay, so this is what I, what I set up before didn't have this. So let's just see what happens when I try to get rid of this top piece and how easy this is to do. Oh, okay, look at this. Bam. Now, I don't want a header. I am going to save my work. And then I'm going to preview it. There we go. Now let's say I want to, and I might even get rid of this if it's gonna be down here, but in this case, I even want to get rid of this for the moment. I'm gonna save it. But if I wanted to do anything on this, I can, I can do it just like that, right? All right, cool. So save, come back here, refresh, and you'll see how that looks. Now that's just the uh, home page. So I'm gonna come back over here, and now what we're gonna do is do theme colors. So this is where I might change it. So we get all of this uh, main accent. Now, in this case, I am using this color here, 175B5A. So I guess it's this main color. Um, Uh, I may want to change the, the look and feel of this, which I'll be able to do. The logo is exactly like it is, and the fave icon, I can upload that. Now, the next thing I can do is change the typography. This is what it's using now. I can edit this. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then on templates, you have all these various page templates that I believe I've already chosen, or uh, these are just, yeah, the core the core templates, and I can add new ones if I wish. Now, once more, if I go in to let's just say pages <clears throat> and I want to create a new one. I'm just going to call this demo. And now over here, I can give it a featured image if I want. I'm not going to do that. Page attributes. Uh, okay, here we go. Templates. So these are the ones that I had the option to choose before but I don't have to, but I'm gonna show you kind of how this works. If I click save draft, and then I launch Thrive Architect, which allows me to build inside this. You're gonna see how this works, but it'll take just a second. Okay, cool. So now I can, um, I should be able to edit First of all, anything switch to theme builder if I want to edit. So if I want to edit this part, which is part of the theme, I would switch to theme builder. If I want to add content, I would come down here and add it just like this. This is where I type. And if I want to add um, columns, and then if I want to add, for instance, an image, I just drag it into here and um, grab a random image that's on this that was pulled in. I can do text down here, and then I can even do text down like this. And you can see that this is the way this is built. So now if I, um, if I save this, all right, okay, cool. So I would edit this here on the uh, actual page page or behind the page. And if I, uh, if I want to edit any of this, switch to theme builder. This is the first time I've actually done this part. So you're doing it with me. Okay, now I'm editing the template, right? So I can say 
subscribe for free, for instance, and then I believe I'm going to save my work. All right, cool. Um, this is the post content. I guess I'm going to switch back to, all right, here we go. Switch back to Thrive Architect and that other stuff should show up if I'm not mistaken. And, um, okay. So I was, I was editing this. So what I really want to do is I want to go back to, Oh, I did not save that page. So let me go in here. I'm going to save my work, but I am going to come in here and get rid of my photo so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, save and return to template dashboard. Okay. So there's a couple little things that as I'm doing this may not be as a hundred percent smooth as I want, but I just come back here to my pages. I look for demo here. I go back in, I edit it. And the only reason it caused that is because I jumped out and wanted to edit the actual theme. But yep, you can see that because I saved it, this page is exactly like that. And this saved this. So that is the way we use the Thrive Theme Builder in order to create something that's just really super easy and robust to use. If you want to, um, if you want to get this, um, you can go check it out over here at thrivecastanzo.com slash Thrive Builder, and you'll be able to see exactly uh you know all the pricing and everything else but i i absolutely love it and highly recommend it hope this helps talk soon